the loading screen. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging around and for, uh, I guess, trusting in Battle.net to finally let us play some StarCraft tonight. It's the best of nine clan war between the Confederation and the Legion of Boom. My name is Liaison, bringing it to you guys on behalf of the Confederation on brand spanking new Confed TV. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I apologize as we jump into the game. Um, you'll notice the overlay here is the uh, the normal game heart overlay that we've been using, but we can't use the game heart mod, so you won't see upgrades and you won't see like what's producing out of the uh, uh, different structures and stuff like that. So uh, you'll have the overlay, you just won't have kind of the features that come with it. I apologize for that, but it was the only way that we could get the game started. So without further ado, let us introduce our players spawning on Frost. Ladder edition in the top left hand corner, the green Terran player representing the Confederation. It's Startail Bob. And in the bottom right, representing Legion of Boom LOB, it's the purple Terran player, Silver Tone. So both of these players are the only uh, platinum players in tonight's clan war it was originally slated to be uh four diamond or th three diamonds excuse me and two platinums uh slight modifications so now there is four diamonds or are four diamond players and one platinum player for each team it's an all kill style clan war the loser from now on will pick the map that we'll be playing on so uh we could see quite a few games tonight or uh you know if one of these guys gets hot they can be the unsung hero for their team and take them uh, quite far. We will uh, we will have to see. Um, so far, a uh, looks like there's going to be a 15 gas coming out for Sartail Bob. It was a uh, 12 gas coming out for Silvertone. So he'll be going with a Reaper Expand, which um, I would imagine on this map will pretty much just be for uh, scouting purposes. So. Uh, you know, just because of how, how big the map is, by the time he finds his opponent, there's no scouting a CV or anything going out yet. So by the time he finds his opponent, he'll probably have uh, a couple of Marines to his name, and with a you know two racks Reaper coming out now, this is this could be a bit of a threat here. Uh, it looks like Silvertone wants to get uh, well established early. He wants to get himself some kind of map control, and he wants to basically set the tone for this and this this matchup and control. Uh, basically what happens here in this game, or try to at least, is uh, is going to be the game he's going to try to play. Uh, the second barracks is just finishing after the second marine. We'll most likely see uh, for Startail Bob a uh, a reactor go down on this uh, this barracks, and yep, there it goes. So uh, he'll, he'll be expanding behind this, and he'll be able to produce two marines at a time, but the question will be, uh, will there be the factory follow-up behind this? This Reaper is going to scout... Uh, around the map. I wonder where it's going to go first. It looks like it's going to... Uh, is it really just going to go across the map and, and well, fingers crossed, hope for the best? I, yeah, it is. Uh, so I'm not sure what tipped him off, but he is going to check cross positions first. He's going to be greeted by these two Marines on the low ground if he's not careful with this Reaper. And then, Oh, he's actually just going to skirt right by the Marines, not quite paying attention. He's going to see the reactor finishing up just as Reaper number two is finishing as well. Uh, Reaper number three is finishing. Reaper number two is already going across the map now. Two Marines at a time will be produced, and this is actually a pretty tricky situation for Startail Bob to be in because these Reapers can come in, poke away at these Marines. If they start to get low on hit points, they can pretty much just back right off and uh, heal up and then go back in for some more. So um, you're right. The, uh, the top of the screen does have those edges. I will fix that for you uh, right now. There you go. It should be fixed. Um, and the Reapers are going to pick off this SCV building, the command center, and uh, suddenly, well, things are a little bit tricky here for Startail Bob. The reactor starts to get focused down. Silvertone thinks better of it and goes right in for the bunker. Widowmine's actually being produced. Normally, you want to get Hellions against a lot of Reapers. The Marines are finishing, which will send these Reapers back. This command center is still halfway done behind this. Silvertone taking an expand for himself. So... Uh, these Reapers are going to, it looks like, for all intents and purposes, force the cancel here. The bunker is done, so it looks like Startail Bob won't uh, won't just die to this, but um, he is going to, um, well, have to cancel this. He doesn't cancel it. Startail Bob does not cancel it. Silvertone kills off the command center on the low ground here, and suddenly Startail Bob has gone from what was supposed to be a very economical opener into what's really an all-in 
and behind this double reactors going down on these barracks so uh, a bunch of naked marines looks like will be coming out here for silvertone and uh, maybe he meant to get a tech lab on one of those but he's still got all of his reapers he's got uh you know pretty good uh you I guess army composition to deal with what uh, Startail Bob's going to be bringing out here. He's getting a tech lab on the factory. wonder if he's just going to go for a 1-1-1 style push, but he's supply blocked now as well. Uh, really uh, just a rough start here for Startail Bob. Is he, pulling the, is he pulling the boys? What's he doing here? Um, looks like he may be sending them just straight across the map for what purpose. I'm really not sure. Um, man, just a really, uh, a really interesting start to the game here for Startail Bob uh, and he's he's in a tricky spot he's in a little bit of a tricky spot this uh, Widowmine could do quite well here if these Reapers decide to be brave enough to try to breach in up onto the high ground they do jump in here both Widowmines burrow the uh, Reapers are going to attack the Marines outside of range of the Widowmines one detonates onto a Reaper but these Reapers one more falls another falls there's only two Reapers left now as they skirt their way around back into the main base so um well they're gonna start picking off scvs we've got four workers have been killed in total as the last reaper falls here but more marines are now streaming across the map four at a time being produced a banshee with cloak coming out here this will be kind of the saving grace for startail bob he's got more than enough marines here to defend if we look at the worker worker count it's 22 to 25 with those five killed and well he's not so far behind in that regard but if you look how silvertone has defended himself here he's got two engineering bays with a bunker he's pretty much ready for any sort of frontal assault he does not have any middle mines yet and he is getting his armory now so um looks like he might want to go into some hellbat play or uh you know i'm not sure what else because normally you'd get that if you were looking for 2-2 uh, on your infantry or if you're looking to go into mech but with the barracks down the scan sees the barracks in one factory with a tech lab so well startail bob knows what he's up against he also knows he's a little bit behind but i don't think he's actually as far behind as he thinks he is as this natural is finishing up he is behind six workers but he's ahead in 10 army supply so he can kind of defend himself and set himself up if he you know is patient enough for a pretty strong i think two base attack and um his opponent is choosing to go for upgrades, which means that he, he should have a slight army advantage for a little while at least. We have uh, this Banshee basically just hanging out, waiting for the Q to go in, and once it does, should get some pretty juicy kills, at least in the natural. There is no turret down. There is that turret in the main, as I just showed, but uh, a Raven is coming out, and... Uh, well, Startel Bob, is, he's, he's pretty safe at this point. He's, he's pretty well established, and he's... Uh, trying desperately to transition and save himself from that rotten start i think he really has the banshee's going to come in start to get some kills kills one two scvs thinks about some marines and instead goes right back for the workers a couple marines do follow the banshee the scan just barely doesn't kill it two health it escapes should go back home to uh well be repaired by its faithful scvs before it embarks back out uh, some some more supply depots being built. Bob a little bit supply blocked once again, but Stim for him is just starting. Do we have Stim yet for the Marines of uh, yeah Silvertone? Of course we do, and his medevacs are starting to come out as well. So again, he is a little bit ahead as far as tech is concerned. We see Silver uh, Startail Bob has not started his uh, medevac production. He's still building a couple Vikings with this Raven to establish air control. Uh, for you know what would typically be kind of a siege tank push that you want to slow push in with the raven for a point defense drone to eat up some viking shots to eat up some uh, marine fire or marauder fire as well so uh so total supply it's 81 to 70 actually in favor of startail bob he's still ahead in worker or he's he's even in workers pretty much 37 to 35 but he's still ahead in army supply we've got this drop trekking across the lower portion of the map this drop trekking across towards the top of by the third base of startail bob and he's continuing to make pretty much nothing but marines here we look at the unit count there's 30 marines and one siege tank to 20 marines and three siege tanks the uh, the, these two drops are going to be a pretty pivotal point in this game. Depending on how much damage they can get done and how well Startailed Bob defends them, he, he could either be in a, uh, well, a pretty solid position or he could be in a bit of a tricky position. The top medevac is coming in just as the bottom medevac, well, the bottom medevac is still waiting, but this top medevac is going in. It gets uh, one 
turret shot and unloads all of its marines scattered throughout the base now the second drop is coming in and well not long for this world it seems is that medevac it is going to end up unloading all of these marines and now suddenly startel bob on the defensive he takes out all of his uh well he takes all of his scvs and moves them out of the mineral lines and ends up cleaning up these marines the banshees uh still well trying to help out it's cloaked just for good measure but just kind of one marine at a time it feels picking apart startail bob he's still he's defended okay He's behind quite a few workers now. 17 workers were killed. We've got some lag coming in here. But uh, 17 workers were killed. There's still two Marines in the main base. So Startel Bob a bit slow to react here. But in the end, he is still up in army supply. Which is a really, really big, um, well, factor, I'd say. Because if you have more army, you can just win, right? Uh, Silvertone is going to double expand behind this. As it seems like his macro may have eluded him for a moment as he was focused on that double drop. But, uh, you know, I think that creates a window here for Startail Bob. If he can get out these two medevacs and push with them, I don't know if he realizes the size of his army uh, in relation to his opponents. He, he will be going up against two two marines. He has no upgrades to speak of. Plus one weapons just finishing in about 10 seconds for him. But he does have a pretty big army advantage. So we'll have to see. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not sure... Uh, what a 70 versus 50 army supply differential does for you if you've only got uh, one O Marines against 2-2. Two, two. That's a pretty significant upgrade disadvantage, but um, the army advantage could even that out a little bit. Now it looks like Startail Bob wants to try some sort of drop play of his own. These ridiculously fast upgrades, though, for Silvertone, uh, as far as the TVT matchup is concerned. He'll have 3-3 three, three Marines pretty shortly, and these medevacs just kind of mind their own marching across the map here and well Startel Bob is he's pretty well defended here he uh, hasn't sieged up this tank but he has uh, one tank sieged up and a good handful of marines here I don't know where this medevac is going it looks like just a miss rally here flying right into that turret he could lose one medevac and he does lose one a little bit sloppy there and now these double drops are going to start coming in this one should find the third base very quickly and the fourth base as well could be found with this top drop it looks like he's going to go straight towards the natural if he does end up sending it in this drop's going to actually circumvent it seems the third base and now he comes back and starts dropping here should at least force a liftoff and uh, a lot of this army to pull over a couple scvs in the mix here two for silver tone a little bit sloppy there but again he does he does feel like he's up which is I don't know if that's where he wants to be. Is this? Is he going to lose his command center? This is going to be really, really close. The medevac is going to lift up and drop down now. Really nice play there. Uh, but he's focusing down the command center instead of focusing down that siege tank. And, uh, well, it's burning, burning, burning. And here he goes, dropping one marine at a time. Now he's going to drop onto that siege tank. We see this drop over here it did get pushed away as well. Um, does kill off the siege tank that was down there. And now these marines come forward. They're trying to kill off this command center. They do get it. So now back to three bases is Silvertone as his planetary fortress finishes up. And things a little bit more even now for Startail Bob as this command center just missed by the scan of Silvertone is finished up. Uh, Bob is getting more and more uh, barracks behind this. And again, his upgrades are behind. He's at 1-1 one, one against what will be 3-2. But he's got a decent army supply advantage. It's 100 to 71, and he's actually forced Silvertone in a position where he feels like he has to push across the map here. He's got Marines kind of leading the charge so he doesn't run into siege tank fire. It's a pretty nice little play there. And, uh, well, he's going to be trying to basically deny this third base, it seems. Three Marines stim in and will immediately start picking away these SCVs that come in here. And more and more of them do fall. These Marines kind of the heroes right now, picking off well above 10 SCVs, which also allows this army to push in here and siege potentially this high ground here against the army of Startail Bob. But there is one siege tank, a second siege tank coming in here. And it looks like, well, Silvertone says the time is now. He sieges his tanks. Kind of clumped together are these Marines, but they're going to come forward and try to target down these siege tanks. One does fall. The Marines going down pretty fast for both players as it turns out and uh well a pretty even trade there but silvertone gets the better of it because of those upgrades 
If they were on even upgrades, I actually think that Startail Bob wins that fight pretty convincingly. But we'll just see uh, right there a pretty clear case of the power of the upgrades. And now his uh, his worker advantage as well, killing off all of those SCVs before this double drop or this drop comes down on top of these two siege tanks and actually doesn't pick off either of them, both of them in the red, and suddenly Silvertone marching in, knocking on the front door, looking to steal this game away from Startail Bob and the Confederation, thinking about pulling the boys, the SCVs, ends up sending them back to mine, and, well, Startail Bob desperately trying to stabilize here. He has units in his main base, though, picking off his production, picking off all the SCVs that once mined there, and this is just a... Uh, it's a tough spot to be in. It looks like Legion of Boom will be taking a 1-0 lead here in this best of nine all-kill clan war. It'll be diamond players here on out for the Confederation, whereas uh, Legion of Boom will still have um, basically their, their platinum players still playing. So slight, ad slight advantage moving forward here, but... Uh, we, we shall see what ends up happening. This one siege tank sieging up and, I mean, give Bob credit here for valiantly trying to continue to fight, but He's, he's a little bit behind here, folks. This third base has remained untouched, so there's still kind of this, like, really, really small chance as uh, a little bit more lag comes out that they're, uh, you know, that he can stabilize and that we will end up uh, coming through here. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure uh, why these guys are lagging, but... Um, I, I'm not, <laughs> so I apologize for that, guys, but uh, Bob asked for the pause because of lag. So we'll see how, um, you know, if they can kind of sturdy up their connection a little bit, tighten it up, make it a little bit more solid, but, um, <clears throat> but we shall see. Um, Um, all right, so we, uh, we'll, we'll just try and finish this one out. I honestly, I appreciate, uh, Startail Bob's, well, attempt to finish this game out here. And, um, uh, well, if these Marines suicide themselves into a planetary fortress, that's one way to get himself back into this game. They're trying to focus it down. They do have 3-3, three, three, but they are, uh, well, not going to be able to do it. The, the repair is strong. And, uh, well, these Marines will march forward as well. The siege tank is going to get picked off, and these Marines should finish off the, uh, well, the remainder of what's left here for Silvertone. And Startail Bob looks like he has pushed this back. But, again, the reinforcements stream forward. We see these small skirmishes on the map, and I'm just not sure, just not sure how, uh, how Startail Bob is going to be able to pull this one out. The army supply and worker supply for a moment were both equal 60 to 29 on both counts in favor of the Legion of Boom Terran player, and he continues to march forward. He has uh, officially, uh, as more lag comes in, breached the natural, and um, well, it looks like that's gonna be game if and when um, the lag finishes out here, so um, again, well played uh, by both players, and um, Yeah, more and more, I, I, I don't know what's going on with this lag. Hopefully they can figure it out before we start the next game. But uh, this game looks well in favor, as it has for, well, quite some time now, of uh, the Legion of Boom. Terran player Silvertone, who will be playing, uh, looks like, well, barring some miracle from, I guess, this Widow Mine and, and this Widow Mine, um, which it doesn't look like is going to happen, and, well... Not too much else to say about this game to tell you guys the truth. There's the GG coming out, and uh, Silvertone takes game number one. So we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to do my best to get game number two started for you guys as quickly as possible. It's kind of a trade-off. If I stay on stream longer, then um, maybe you guys will be slightly more entertained. Um, but at the same time, the game might not get started as quickly as it might be able to. So I'm going to try and get everything started so we have as short a break as possible between games. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in once again. Uh, my name is Liaison, casting for the Confederation. Um, let me find a good tune for us to uh, to enjoy.